Welcome to Moonlight PC. Today we are going to discuss how and when to do a ping or a trace route to an internet resource. In order to do this, we'll have to pull up the command prompt, which is easily done by right clicking on the start button and going to command prompt. This will bring up a simple text window that resembles the old fashioned MS-DOS interface. But let's say we wanted to ping an external website. In order to do that, you just type in PING and then a space and then www.google.com will ping Google. And as you see, there are four different packets as they're called, packets of information that were sent out to Google. And the first one took 44 milliseconds to get there and back. The second one took 33, the third one took 68, and the fourth one took 35. Those numbers may seem meaningless if you're not familiar with them, but milliseconds are simply a measurement of time. Generally speaking, anything less than 100 is very good. Now let's say we want to know what happened between here and Google with our information. There's a way to get a little more information. If we do a trace route by typing T-R-A-C-E-R-T -E and then a space and then www.google.com, we'll be able to see how our data travels to Google and back. And you see it went through my router, and then through my ISP, and our trace is complete. Now much of this may look like gibberish if you're not familiar with it, and that's okay. In order to make more sense of what is going on here, we first have to understand what a hop is. A hop is any point where your data has to go through another device. So the first one you'll see there will say router.belkin, that's my Belkin wireless router, that's not surprising. And then the next hop will be my internet service provider, which becomes more obvious on the third line where we can see that it's comcast.net. From there of course the data goes through Boston and then through New York, and then after that we simply have IP addresses with no information. Now what we do see is the amount of time taken for each individual hop. And with exception of the first line here on line 10 of the 114 milliseconds, it's all well under 100. That's a good solid connection. Generally speaking, occasionally going over 100 is not any cause for alarm. If however you were to see several of these hops going 100, 200, 300 or higher, or timing out altogether, there may be some sort of an issue at that point in the internet infrastructure. Usually though, if you run into issues, it's either locally with your computer or your wireless router, or perhaps your modem, or it's on the far end on the server itself. You generally don't see too many issues in between. The reason for that is the internet superhighway is designed in a similar manner in overall structure to the actual highway system that we use to drive on every day. So let's take your car for example. Imagine you were going to leave your house and go downtown. That would be your first hop. Now let's say you take another road and go to another town. That would be your second hop. And so on and so forth until you get to your destination. This is essentially what your data is doing when it is going to another computer, to a website, to an online server, and then bouncing back to you. And this has been our lesson on how to perform the ping and trace route functions to get more information about the way that your data is transmitting to and from your computer.